morning in the new place okay this is about uh, ashoka and uh, you know i want you to read this because it has got a lot of importance more than me explaining it to you if you read this i mean in since i'll put three photographs please read it and then there's there's a lot for you to understand about it <laughs> You look at this. The foreground is in the shape of an elephant. It basically symbolizes Gajatame in the sense the conception of uh, Buddha. That is in the year 31st century BC. That is before Christ. Okay, and that's why I asked you to re you know, go through that photograph where it will make a lot of sense for you. And and th uh, this is this is the time when um, uh, Ashoka uh, invaded uh, Kalinga. Okay, and there was so much of bloodshed and all which happened. Uh, you know, uh, and the Daya River which flows uh, close to this was full of blood. That Believe. Okay, and he could not take it, and then he converted into uh, you know into Buddhism, and then okay, what is what has happened is um, he has made sure that his whole whole, whole family family in the sense you you talking about the whole uh, whole of his kingdom itself is going to be converted into uh, uh, vegetarian. Okay, vegetarianism. Basically, he uh, he avoided uh, you know animals to be sacrificed. You know, a lot of things are there in the photo. Please read it. When you see the rocks, you will be able to you know what you will get goosebumps on it. Hundred percent, you will get goosebumps on it. So please go through that Head west before on I show Dolly you. Road, then this, this is one of the rocks that I could identify, but I don't know which rock is this among those 11 rocks. Okay, if it is the number one, then he's he's prohibiting people from killing animals and even savoring them, you know, eating them and all this stuff. Okay, and this is in the Brahmi literature that it was done. I don't know which rock is this. If it is rock number 11, it is a different meaning altogether. Okay, I have not, I'm not too sure because they have not written here, so I'm not able to find out. So if you do know about it, uh, let me know. And But when you come here, it is like uh, you will be the James Bond in identifying which rock is this. <laughs> What you see behind me is the Ashoka Pillar. I've I've seen this in uh, Bangalore near in Jainagar, Ashoka Pillar. Okay, but I didn't know the importance after coming here and by accidentally finding this. Okay, Google didn't even didn't tell me about this place existed. So you can make my channel as Google for for travel, you know, search and all this stuff. There are a lot of mosquitoes here biting me like crazy. I can't even wear pants because it's sticky, sticky, sticky. Anyway, look at this thumb. Four lines on top. Okay, and uh, oh man, you want me to show show you close up? I will. Okay, so much so much he gave up, you know, uh, in Digvijay that he wanted. He wanted to be a winner, but he gave up everything, and no wonder, no wonder his uh, his name, uh, you know, people are cherishing. I'm one of them. <laughs> Like I'm floating through the air. This is Stanti Stupa, where people come, huh? Look for peace. That's the Buddha in the center.
भाई ये दोनों कौन बोले आपने जय विजय जय विजय कौन है ये द्वारपाल तो ये चौसठी मंदिर का मंदिर का द्वारपाल है So you did see uh, 64, you know, that is Chausati um, Yogini. Basically, 64 Yogini or Jogini that you talk, it's a form of an avatar of uh, Durga. Okay, in, all in dancing poses with uh, different uh, poses and uh, items, materials and all this stuff. And uh, the thing that I would want to tell you is, um, uh, uh, well, let's go for a drive. Why should we sit in one place? Okay, so... Uh, there are 64 jo uh, Joginis or Yoginis and there are four of Bhairavas okay of, of which uh, of the um, uh, Yoginis if you look at it one of them is missing the 61st idol is missing there okay and uh, if, if you will notice that one idol looks basically like um, uh, what do you say uh, uh, what is that uh, Ganesha okay and uh, but it isn't Ganesha that uh, it is because Ganesha is Vahana that is the vehicle that the mode of transport that he he takes is basically uh, you know the mouse but here you will see uh, that it is a donkey okay that is a form of a yogini that uh, that it is there okay so four Bhairavas and 64 uh, yoginis are there the 61st is missing okay 61st idol is missing keep that in mind so outside you have uh, Dwara pa Palakas basically you can call the, the watchman the doorman or whatever it is just right behind that there are two more for even more security reasons such okay for tantras and for people to learn and uh, how this god is more powerful and how this can be answered was explained to me by a localite not by priest and all because they were only interested in uh, minting money making money and all that but this i will mention his name and number and the description when you come here please talk to him because he taught me a way how to pray okay the way we normally pray is is the same way you and me but the way um, the way that he taught me was amazing okay and then uh, it could be very very effective as well so i thought that uh, you know i thought that you know i will tell you about it so so that it would make a whole lot of difference as such and uh, the photograph that i saw in google and then i came is is not the one actually that the that one is in uh, uh, what do you say in uh, in madhya pradesh okay so we need to go there shouldn't we so if i remember anything more uh, when there was so many so much that he told me but i cannot recollect everything and if i do recollect i will add that into this otherwise i will see you in a new day new place stay safe stay healthy stay alive bye from me oh i did remember uh the the idols were all in bad shape because Mughals came down and had destroyed it they never stopped anywhere they just wanted to destroy the whole thing that's so sad, uh, so sad to know about it.